The body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morgenholt was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of a 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morgenholt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Or maybe Lacerda is a nickel ante loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morgenholt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea so there's no escape. Board her. Search her. Find out who Lacerda's been dealing with. And then, make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth Freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project as fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the Walsh inside a helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you in the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. Okay, it's time to choose our loadout again. They are all three different. Reddings isn't much different. He wants us to bring more ammo, it would seem. So, of course, we're going to go with stealth again. Fisher, we just pulled up Celestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Now we could have interrogated that guy and got a little dialogue. But it's nothing... Nothing too interesting. He's just going to tell us that Lacerda is on the ship and there's about 33 dudes. Let's go ahead and get our stickies equipped. This guy just parks himself right there. But he has a friend and I want to know where he is. There's his buddy. Let's just hold back. Oh, he's coming upstairs. What are you doing up here? So they don't care much for Lacerda either. Come on, get him moving. Yeah, this guy right here is no problem to take care of. We'll just pick him up and take him over here. It is nice that you can pick up in one motion. Just hold down your right click. Now I already got my stickies on, right? Sam, why are you walking backwards? Now we just gotta wait for him to come back. There's three guys here at the beginning. You've seen two of them. Now we just play the waiting game. One thing that's really weird about this game compared to the first two is you don't have to arc your secondary projectiles nearly as much. They have a lot more momentum. Come on, fella. Come here. I see your feet. 
Let's let him come to us. There we go. Quite a bit of noise out here on the open sea. The rolling waves conceals what we are doing. Let's go ahead and put him over here. Yeah, plenty dark next to these oil bins. There we go. Now we got to proceed down here. We have a fellow just taking a nap, but he's right across from a door. We'll have to take him out. I would like to just leave him asleep, but you know, you just can't help it sometimes. Noisy little Dickens, isn't he? Come on, punch him. Or or knee him. Let's get him off of there and then we'll pick him up and move him. Okay, let's get moving. There's nobody else for a little bit. Jump Sam. Okay, go down the ladder. Fisher, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. So we have our next collectathon. We have six weapon crates we need to tag with tracking devices. Here's the first. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. Yeah, so we have a little water problem on here we need to take care of. Unfortunately, the crew's a little incompetent, so we actually do have to do everything. Sam, I would like you to get on the other side of the door before you close it. It's really my fault. But I can blame Sam if I want. Go ahead and turn you, turn you around, Sam. What are you working on there, fella? Trying to make a chisel, or... I don't know, he's just grinding down that piece of metal right there. I would have left him alone, but we need to get into this vent right there. Let's see, here's a good spot for you right here. Right next to the breaker box, it looks like. And just in case there's a little too much light, let's go ahead and use up a bullet. There we go. Can't even see... What I'm doing. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. Well, you just saw it through that first vent. Okay, so we'll just hang out. I'm going to show you one of the cooler things we can do in Chaos Theory. But we've got to wait for the guy up here with us to start moving. There he goes. As soon as he's underneath us, up up. And there we go. Situation solved. And it's already dark enough where he is. We're just going to jump down here with him. Give him a hand with this pump. Hey, 
There you go. Oh good, and it gives you a little a little time if you don't hold down the right click. I didn't know that before. You can actually click it right after you hit him and he'll pick him up. It's kind of nice. So thankfully, Sam took the weekend course. I was wondering what that was over on the wall. It's an alarm panel. But he took the week on, weekend long course to figure out how to operate these ship pumps. Good job. That'll drain the flooded compartments. Now you can search for the bill of lading attached to Lacerda shipments. Can't get All right. it. There, now it's clear. Close the door, Sammy. Close the door, Sammy. There you go. Go find that bill of ladings, and then we'll get out of here. I'm betting that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. Actually, didn't mean to close that. Be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. Just force a habit. Bill of lading is not too hard to find. They put on the most inaccessible box. Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantil Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore bankers? Yeah, the cigar chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else Lacerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. If you're wondering why I go went down here, now you know. Ay, 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 ay. Have you had a look around this boat? Yeah. Tell me you found the library. Somewhere on the top deck, on the side, and there's a power plant on the stern. Think there is enough for everyone? Yeah, and I wouldn't trust them. Now we're getting to the most irritating part of this level. The engine room. You'll figure out why in just a moment. Sensors in your suit are detecting a lot of fumes down there. Yeah, I can smell it. Some kind of gas leak. Could be enough to be a serious explosive hazard. We can't have any firing in the engine room. Wonderful. And don't expect the enemy to be smart enough to realize that. They might still open fire on you if they see you. I get the message. I'll be discreet. Yeah, they will do that. So you can't shoot at them, and they can't shoot at you. It will cause the whole room to explode. This is a real nerve-wracking part for an Iron Man uh, run of this map. Did you just... no. I thought it was you. It wasn't me. But yes, He's looking right at us. I think I'm going to scoot you a little. Starting to wonder if I have my headphones on backwards. The audio is really weird in this place. So how are we going to solve this situation? It took me a while to actually figure out a plan for this. And this one works most of the time. I'm hoping it'll work this time too. So, what we're going to do is you'll see this right here, this motor, this engine. We're going to jump on that and get up there. But as you can see, it's pretty lit up. We need to take care of that first. So we're going to use our pistol. We can still disable electronic devices without any trouble. Okay, where are you two? There's one of them. Where's the other guy? Is that him? It's kind of important to know where these guys are. Let's see, I can't remember where I can actually get a clear shot of this light. Thought I just saw the other guy. Okay, so he's meandering over there. Can we climb over this? Yeah, I see their shadows. Where the hell is that light? There it is. I can't really get a clear line of sight on it over here, though. And I can't go over there without getting lit up. So we're going to do a little, little bit of moving here. We're going to have to run all the way around this engine. Or I guess I could just jump over the railing. Well, crap, that's what we'll do. let him move a little bit more. I saw something down there. You saw something? I don't know how you could possibly see something. It's pitch black. Okay, and we're going to wait here. We need to relocate that light. 
Where is it? There it is. We need to hit it one more time. There's not really enough time for us to get up there also. Okay, so it's out again. Come on, Sammy. Come on, Sammy. Oh boy. Hopefully you can't see me down here. Oh boy. I'm pretty lit up. Thankfully Sam's gotten a lot more agile since his first adventure. Where are they? That guy's up there. He's a problem. Although I don't know how to solve him exactly. I could try punching him. Assuming I can get him before he identifies me as a target. Try this again. They're both up there. Just hanging out. I don't think I can sneak up that way. Just yet, anyway. There's probably a hidden thing I don't know about. Surprised they haven't gotten pissed off at me turning off this light constantly. I wish they'd go down there and look at it, honestly. They're just hanging out up there, folks. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, by the way, uh, secondary weapons also set it off. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. So sneaky. Look at him just... just skulking around while Sam does his skulking. Okay. Finally out of that rat's nest. Oh man, that is the worst part, people. But we got it done. Okay, let's go get our stickies equipped. Good. And we have a little instance here. We need to hang back because there's one of those weapons crates. It's in that room over there. But there's also a man who's also in that room. We need to let him come out first. He's scripted to come out as soon as we enter the space. I hear him moving now. We're not going to try anything fancy. We're not going to punch him. We're just going to shoot him with, a, with our sticky shocker here. I hear him walking. There he is. No need to take a chance on this little guy. There's probably a way he'll probably just go over here and face the wall, but I'm just not sure. I haven't played this mission enough to know. Okay, he's out of the way. Let's see, what are you packing there? Can't see. Is that an AUG? Yep, that's a Steyr AUG right there. Hopefully no one finds his gun and finds his body afterward. Not really much to worry about in here. Even though the sand level is so low. So here's our second crate. Placed on there, Sam. There you go. Good job. Oh, and you got on the right side of the door this time. Good. Got some objects to pick up. They're just bottles. Okay, so... So far, the hardest part is over. As long as I'm not retarded, we should actually have this thing in the bag. I remember everything. Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh yes, I remember this place. We have someone coming in behind us. We need to crawl in here real quick. Hey. Did Lacerda pass through here? 
Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cuts his throat. Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. Mm-hmm. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. So we're going to let him leave the room and audible range. He won't come back until we script him to come back. Now take out this little fella. We could probably do this without taking him out. Actually, now that I think about it. But you know what? I already got him. So who cares? Let's go ahead and put him back over here. There you go, fella. Right on the desk. Not the best place for him, but we'll try to relocate him in a second here. I don't think we can use his computer. Oh, we can turn it off. Now, that guy we just saw is right outside the door to the, to the right. But he will not move until we do something else. Let's look at some emails real quick. There's one for you. Lucero doesn't care for the crew, he doesn't they don't care for him, yada yada yada. And also some ja some Japan stuff. Now to cue that guy to come in here. We have to look at this cabinet. The transit ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikariakov in Malaysia. Nikariakov. I remember that name. Nikaryakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arms shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, the Serta got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? Yeah, so as you saw, he waltzed right back in there. Of course, he won't do it until you magically open that, that stuff. Oh, where are we gonna put you guys? There's really not a good spot over here. It's light everywhere, we can't shove them in the ducks. I don't know. I'd rather they not be found. Because I don't want to do this again after I've done a flawless run. Oh no, this doesn't, just doesn't seem to be the best spot over here. You know, right in the middle of a doorway. Hell, as long as they don't get found. I don't think I can... Well, actually, yeah, I can't open the door here. There we go. Good. Whoa, not so fast, Sammy. Sammy, close the door. Good boy. Let's go ahead and open this door. There's no one in here. There is somebody in here. But as long as you don't make any noise, he won't come out. There's nothing good in here unless you need some help. Well, if you're playing this game the right way, you won't need any help. I only lost help because I jumped off a box. Let's see, we've got some more emails. Talking about the engine room's gas problem. We already know about that. We could all... I, no, actually, there's no light switches. It's these alarm panels. They look like light switches. A lot of these doors you can't actually use your optical cable under. Whoops, you didn't close it, Sam, and there's another weapons crate right there. If you're not paying attention, you might miss it. Okay, Sam, judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. Oh, I'll find the rest. Come on, get moving. Take it nice and slow. We have someone we need to take care of over here. Let's see, is he over there? I can't see. Not yet. Let's take a look under this door real quick. Hopefully he doesn't see us while we're doing it. This is the bridge. We will not be going in there just yet. We will have to go in there for a later portion. Help. See me, Capitan. Si, senor. Scopes are clear? Si, senor. Gracias. 
Okay, there should be a guy waltzing around. It is very difficult to get through the bridge. That's why I'm not going that way. I wonder if I could sneak up there. I can't remember where the best spot to take the shot is. I think it's right here. But no, we'll be going out the side. There he is. Okay, he's taken care of, but he is in the light, so we do need to get moving. I am going to look into this. Let's go ahead and pick this fellow up. Okay, so we need to wrap around here real quick. Hopefully no one will see us, and hopefully Sam will do what I tell him to. There's two men up here on this side. There's one of them. As long as he doesn't move, we should be able to get him no problem. And then he moved. Of course he did. Look how light it was right there. So there's his buddy. There he is. I'm going to wait for him to move back, actually. Where's he heading? Can't see him with my thermals. Where you going? I don't think he got down. Hmm. Where are you? Damn it, where'd he go? can't really get his buddy right there very easily. Where the hell did that guy go? What the? What are you doing down there? Huh. I don't remember him doing that. I got him. Okay. Should I try to punch this mother? Mm. I think we'll do this. We haven't used any of these diversion cameras just yet. Okay, how do I get out of this? There we go. I had to press escape. So he's been dealt with. I'm going to put you in the same area I found that first guy. Or I put the first guy, I should say. We need to head in there in just a moment. I could actually put him in there now that I think about it. You just sit. You just sit tight, buddy. We'll be with you in just a moment. Now you can't look under the door with your optical cable, but you can use your thermals to cheat a bit. We have to go in here, by the way. There we go, got a good punch on him. Let's get him out of there. Let's get him out of there, Sam. There you go. That was a weird animation, but okay. As long as you pick him up. See, is there a good spot right here? Yeah. That's a good spot. There you go. Let's go get his buddy real quick before I forget about him. And then we'll go check out the computer in this room. There we are. Okay. Whoops. Let's get off these real quick. So Lacerda is holed up in the captain's quarters. Where's that? Third deck, port side. The two interior stairwells are the only access to that deck. So if we don't go here first, 
Lacerda will not be where he's supposed to be. I've actually been in the room he's supposed to be in, and he just was not there. He just plain wasn't there, folks. Which is a shame, because you really do have to go out of your way to get into that room up there. See, this is a good spot. He, he, he walked right over him and didn't see him. Just don't fall over the side. I think I might lose points if that happens. Okay, so now we need to get to the captain's quarters, which is downstairs. Let's see, what is this here? I think this is the bridge, the other side of it. Yes, it is. There's the captain. There's his first mate over there, I think, or his navigator, one of those. We should be able to sneak through here without any trouble. Hold your breath, folks. We just need to wrap around this railing. Son of a bitch! Shit. Run. I can't hide. Son of a bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think I was identified as an intruder. He's not supposed to see us there. Oh, Jesus. This game is intense when you're trying to Iron Man it, folks. I'm amazed he didn't see us. Considering I just pretty much teased it there. Teased it in the running like hell fashion. Okay, I'm pretty sure we want to go this way to kill Lacerda. Oh, God. I hope it's this way. Is it? Yes, it is. There's another weapons crate. Let's go ahead and get that real quick. Calm my nerves a little bit. Good job, Sam. Two more crates to go. Okay, so here's the room that Lacerda's in. By... I advise you to not close this door behind you. You'll see why in a moment. I tell you, never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No, but this insult forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No, this big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros, ha, I'll show him. Fine. Mark my words, I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, for my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I need another drink. I was wondering why the sounds didn't make sense. I actually had my headphones on backwards. Let me see. So he's going to come and get a drink out of the fridge right here, the mini fridge. We're just going to grab him by his ponytail and take him out of here. There you go. Shh. Don't make a scene. Uh, madre de Dios. Not exactly. But if it makes you feel better to pray. Please don't kill me. Please let me go. I won't tell them I saw you. You don't understand what's happening here, do you? Morgan Holt. Your goons tortured him to death, and I'm holding you responsible. Oh, no! It's not my fault! The only thing worse than a coward is a liar. You gave the order, and now you're gonna die for it. Please! First, tell me who contracted you to kidnap him. I... I don't know. I swear! I was contacted indirectly. I was warned not to try and find out. I'm sorry! It's not my fault! I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Yeah, he just turns into a simpering fool at this point. But anyway, you have to kill this man. It's one of your objectives. And killing them is really noisy because Sam, he just can't slit his throat. He has to do it this way. Good job, Fisher. I'll inform the Joint Chiefs that Lacerda is no longer a threat. Your primary objectives are completed. We can extract you whenever you're ready. So if you weren't careful, and you close that door behind you, well, you had pretty much fucked yourself, because he can't open the door while he has a hostage.
which means you have to kill him and then immediately like pull him out of there and then maybe take care of these two fellows that are in here. I think there's only two. Let's go ahead and close this door. Just for safety. Okay, so we only have to do a couple more things. We just have to get two more of these crates and then get the hell off this boat and then we'll be fine. Oh boy. So first thing we need to do is go to the kitchen. Yes, you heard me right, we have to go to the kitchen for a weapons crate. I know it doesn't make sense, but it is a video game. For some reason they have one in the kitchen. So we're gonna head downstairs. I thought it might have been around the corner, but it's, these are the same place, connected. Oh boy. I don't remember where this goes. Is this the door I want? I think it might be. I hope it is. Man, these things are damn noisy. Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know what I don't understand? Here we are, loaded up with Colombian. Best coffee in the world. And the coffee tastes like bad guano. Exactly. What's up with that? Because Captain Diego buys the cheapest coffee he can find. Why? Because cheap coffee sweats more. Makes it harder for the dogs to smell what's hidden inside the coffee. Ah, that makes sense. Still, wouldn't mind a good cup of coffee. Tell me about it. Guy had me scared there for a moment. Okay, so, we're heading into the kitchen now. Hey, Toma, have you seen La Cerda? No. But I heard him yelling at someone a few minutes ago. That's why I came here. Uh, what was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. Thinks now that he's got a little cash, he's king of the world. He'll get his one of these days. You'll see. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. Later that day, Lucero was killed by Sam Fisher. So we need to take out both of these fellas. You're going to be the first one. There you go. He's going to just sit there and watch the door, so we're not going to have any uh, any chance to get in here. Now we're just going to hang back and wait for this first guy to come through this gateway. Wait for it. Here he is. For a second there, I thought I didn't get him. But there we go. Hey, we need a good spot for you two. Last time I put them in the freezer and they ended up being found, I think. I don't know, it's sort of screwy this game. There's not really a dark place in here. I could turn off the lights, I'm not sure if that would work though. But here's our last, well our fifth weapon, weapons crate right here. Way to go Fisher, one more crate to go. I could try to take out this light here. I don't know. This game is so screwy when it comes to finding bodies. Although I don't really want to put him next to this table. It's kind of right out in the middle of nowhere, you know? Maybe over here? By the way, coming through the other side of this room is very, very sticky. I have had it, I have had it work, but uh, damn it, Sammy. Why you gotta piss me off? Close the door. I have had it work, and then I have had it not work. Because that guy, that the guy we're holding right now, he stands in that doorway. And even if you turn off that light, he'll start shooting at you. Now Sam, please put him down in a proper fashion. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Whew. Yeah, there's really only one more challenge for us. Get the other one. Yeah, I'm not sure why the hell they have in the kitchen. They just put them all over the place. There you go. Okay, which way to go? I think we should just go outside. Because the alternative would mean going through the bridge again, which is not something we want to do. Let's 
Sam was not born in a barn. He closes all those doors behind him. Let's not go too fast. I don't want to piss off the captain. By the way, you can take out the captain in the navigator. It won't cause the boat to crash or go off course. Well, it probably goes off course, but it's no concern to Sam Fisher. He doesn't give a, he doesn't give a rat's ass what happens. Okay, let's just take this slow. Let's not get crazy. The extraction's right on the other side right there. But we still need to look at that last crate. Oh yeah, I remember when we took out you fools. Why is there only one? They must be conjoined or something. I'm sure one didn't get up. Okay, so our last crate... I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. And there's three dudes down here. I can't see a damn thing. There's two of them. Uh, I love the smell of the ocean air. All I smell is burning oil and vomit. Guy's a little bitter with the situation. Uh, come on. Enjoy it while you can. Before you know it, we'll be sweating in some jungle. Never heard of anybody getting scurvy in the jungle. And I never heard of anybody getting eaten by an alligator on a ship. Okay, let's get down. Get funky with it. We need to get moving quick. Not so loud, Sam. There's a tracker. That was the last of the weapons crates, Sam. Now we'll be able to track them wherever they go and see just how connected Lacerda is. Now we'll head up. And that guy should be walking around the corner, but we should have plenty of time. See, he's looking up. I'm kind of concerned. Okay, here we go. Oh, actually, it's completely dark up here. I don't know what I'm worrying about. Oh, God, it's over. How do we do? Everything's completed. We got the arm shipments. We got the bill of ladings. We killed Lacerda. And, of course, we found out which cabin he was in. And then we got exfiltrated. Yes! 100%. 40 minutes. Not too shabby. 17 of the 36 enemies allegedly on the ship knocked out. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next edition of Let's Play Splinter Cell, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory with me, Lethal. See you next time.